Hey everybody, welcome back. You know what time it is. Time to look at some of the funniest social media comments and posts of the week. The Canadian Air Force is like practicing with their planes for some reason right now. It always kind of worries me because it's like, okay, so we have like five planes in the whole country and they're all in Toronto practicing. <laughs> okay. Seems legit. Let's put them all in one place. No one's gonna attack us, we're Canadian. Everyone loves us, right? Just popping in here to say that this video is sponsored once again by the folks at Karma. Karma is an app and Chrome extension. I'm always down for a good deal and I love it when I come across a service that will help me and my subs save money. So more on that later in the video. If you knew me in high school, you no longer do. Come meet me all over again. Same, but don't come meet me. Agreed. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> high school was not a good time. Not a good time for me. And you know what? I'd like to keep it in the past. You know what I'm saying? I don't need one of those reunions. I'm good. PETA tweeted, seem wrong. If you wouldn't breastfeed from a cow, then you shouldn't drink their milk out of a carton either. Keep this sexy milk <laughs> coming. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, look at that cow. Oh, she's saucy. Bessie's saucy. <laughs> oh God, that's so weird. I don't even know if I can show that. Can I show that? I don't know if I can. I think I might have to blur part of it out. <laughs> what was the purpose of that, PETA? Just gross us out? This is the internet. No one is grossed out. We watch videos of people popping pimples for like three hours straight. <laughs> Just me? <laughs> hey y'all, I'm back here to tell you about Karma, formerly ShopTagger. It is an app and Chrome extension that when I'm telling you that you will literally not be able to live without it, like you won't, like it's it, it changed my life. It's helped me save hundreds of dollars over the last few weeks alone. And it's also helped me get my hands on some items that went viral on TikTok that I really, really wanted, but they were sold out everywhere. Install Karma and you're gonna get a notification when that coveted item goes back in stock, when it goes on sale, or if there's coupon codes available. Those coupon codes, they add up. They help you save a lot of money. It is really important to get the best deal available now more than ever. Karma is gonna help you shop far more mindfully and you're gonna impulse buy a lot less, which I have to admit is a big problem of mine. So when you're on the Karma website, click on the install Chrome button and the install process is super easy. It takes no time at all. Whenever you go to a website now, you'll be able to track items and save the ones that you wanna buy. You can sign up for notifications either in your email or push notifications from the Karma app. They're gonna let you know when an item you saved goes on sale, when there's a coupon code available, and when it goes back in stock. So for example, I really wanted the Innisfree Dewy Glow Jelly Cream that went viral on TikTok a few weeks ago, but it was sold out everywhere. Like I could not get my hands on it. So I used the Karma Now extension and I set up a notification for when it went back in stock on the Sephora website. And uh, guys, it is as good as everybody says. Karma also shows me active coupon codes at checkout. They have a cash back feature where you can earn cash with PayPal when you shop with their retail partners. You can also organize your items into lists. I have a list for needs and a list for wants. Items that I don't necessarily need right away. I love a good deal and I love saving money and I know you guys do too. And today I am gonna help you save with Karma. Definitely check it out by clicking the link in the description. And now let's get back into the video. Completely understood Pride Month. Who wants to buy 15 lions? <laughs> I can help you on both sides of this. <laughs> Joe Exotic. <laughs> Does anyone want 15 lions? I just have them lying around. Lying around. <laughs> Sorry, I love it when that works out, when a pun works out, you know what I'm saying? 1600 calories, 1600 calories. Great, now do a price comparison. You can't put a price on health. You can't. I mean, I'm looking at this and uh, I really like the one on the right. Also, that one will last you all friggin' day. What is that? What is the left? A snack? That's like one snack. That's maybe your lunch and a snack, okay? Making a plant illegal is like saying God was wrong. Making a plant illegal was one of the first things God ever did. Ah, you got me there. Yeah, you did do that. I have no rebuttal. Sustained. Sustained. <laughs> I am the judge and the lawyer. Guess what? No one is going to change the climate. It's freaking nature. Get over it. Ever get really sick? Don't go to the doctor. Just die. It's nature. Get over it. Survival of the fittest. I'm just applying your logic. Broke men are hurting American women's marriage prospects. Lots of insecure men replying to this one. You literally have your cash app in your Twitter bio. Pipe down, you... Bad word for a woman. And your dad sends me money. What of it? Oh! 
At least he made more of an effort than your actual dad. Oh, oh, there's a lot of spice in there. Nice rebuttal. <laughs> Both of you, well done, good effort. <laughs> I just sit on the sidelines, like silently. <laughs> Where's my cup? My cup isn't here, where is she? Yes, it's a girl. It's a girl or a gay man, okay? <laughs> You're gonna hate me for this. I am eat pasta with pineapple and strawberry on it. Please learn photosynthesis so you never have to do anything like this again. Wait, I don't get it. I don't get it. I wish I got it, I don't. Hmm, let's see, let's see if I can get it. You're gonna hate me for this. I'm eat pasta with pineapple and strawberry on it. I don't get it. It's okay, it's okay, Charlotte. <laughs> I love you anyway. <laughs> can you guys please recommend books that made you cry? Engineering, Mechanics, Statics, 14th edition, Russell C. Hebbler. Hibbler, Hibbler, Hibbler. <laughs> I'm crying already and I'm just reading out the name. <laughs> What's your favorite flash game? When my wife flashes me her bobs. I don't think that's what he was referring to, but fair enough. You're not wrong. I was happy with my results, but now my dad keeps sending me results of other kids. Send him other parents' salaries. Uh. I did not achieve anything, so I'm going to make my child crazy making him achieve things. Him or her, or them. These dudes come up to you and tell you to empty out your pockets. What you doing? Throw a Xanax on the floor and watch them <laughs> fight over it. Fair, fair. They would be like wild animals. Zanny! Zanny! His friend looks like a mannequin with the head on backwards. Oh. Oh yes, yes, he does. <laughs> Why? Why does it look that way? I think it's his t-shirt. Maybe his t-shirt's on backwards. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Rare sight of me smiling in a picture. Girl, you bought the cutest tennis ball I ever seen. Ooh, ooh. I, I dig it though, like I dig it. It's a very, very, very cute haircut. I'm into it. I'm into this little back and forth. Can you guys date? I will live vicariously through you. My only talent is breathing. I said this to my mom and she just said, you have asthma, moron. <laughs> Dang, eh? Yeah, that's awkward. <laughs> Poor Ting. Poor Ting, tough love, eh? 29 little hacks that could save your life. Is that a freaking Game Boy cartridge case? This is a legit life hack because keeping a condom in your wallet is bad news. The friction from it being in your pocket or jolted around wears down the latex and can cause it to tear. If you keep one on you in a Game Boy cart case, that won't be an issue because no one will have sex with you. <laughs> oh God. And at least you won't procreate. That's the real issue here, isn't it? More of you. <laughs> Rushing off the bus this morning, I slipped and fell. Two dollars worth of change fell out of my pocket. This bitch gonna yell, Sonic, you good? <laughs> Almost snapped on her. <laughs> that was good. That was like quick too. I'm into it. What I look like I do for a living. Terrorize the Powerpuff Girls. Bro! Oh, bro. Dang. Kind of, yeah. Like a little bit. You do kind of look like Mojo Jojo. Oh man, I love Mojo. I'm wondering. They're doing like live action Powerpuff, right? I wonder who's going to be Mojo Jojo. Or if there will be any Mojo Jojo. That's really hard to say. I'm spitting everywhere. Once in the fourth grade, this guy got a 2% on his math quiz, so everyone called him milk for the rest of the year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2%, eh? You know, come to think of it, I had a dream last night where I literally knew no answers to a test. Like, literally none. Like, I was looking at this test and I... It's a, it's a reoccurring dream for me. School? I'm, I'm like, in my 30s. And, like, why am I still having dreams about not being able to graduate or finish a test? Like, it's bizarre. I would have called me milk, for sure. Skim milk. I didn't even know one answer to this test. Rate my professor is really something. I never wore my seatbelt while driving to school because I wanted to die before making it to his class. <laughs> Holy shit. That bad, eh? Oh man, why do they like to make our lives awful? I thought you guys liked to like, you know, teach young minds, bring up the youth of today. I thought you found some, you know, value in that. Do you just hate us all? There are approximately 1,010,300 words in the English language, but I can never string enough words together to properly express how much I want to hit you with a chair. <laughs> Alexander Hamilton to Thomas Jefferson. Is that real? Is that real? I'm sorry, I'm gonna need to do some research. Allow me to do some research. 
No, he did not tell Thomas Jefferson this. Okay, glad I looked it up. Still funny. <laughs> Look at us learning. I love to learn. Shout out to my cousin, got his barber's license in jail and opened his own barber shop when he got out. That's a $30 Uber from his eyebrows to this hairline. Oh, dang, and that's a kid too, bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Held up the grocery line because the card reader wouldn't read my Apple Watch. Elderly man behind me exhales. Let's move this along, future boy. Come on. <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be convenient. OMG, I love Harry. His British accent is so cute. That red thing is called Harry. Oi, mate. That red thing is, <laughs> is a member of the royal family. <laughs> you know what? That's funny. As a ginger, that's funny. <laughs> the hardest I've ever been owned in my life is when I was 21 in Barnes and Noble and a teenager asked me where the manga section was. I told them, but I also said, I don't work here. They looked at me dead in the eye and said, I know you just looked like someone who would know. <laughs> Enough with the work from home sweatpants, dress like the adult you're getting paid to be. I'm not taking fashion advice from a guy who looks like he runs the bumper boats at the segregation themed amusement park. <laughs> Why is this so accurate? I love me a good rare insult. <laughs> he also kind of like low-key looks like he drives a gondola. I have never been so visibly disrespected in all my life. Use your creativity for good, not evil. <laughs> Why is it so accurate? <laughs> oh, but it's funny though. It's so funny. I demand to know who's keeping them in business. Show yourself. <laughs> I've never seen these. Are these kind of like, like discount Axe deodorant? Bod? Ooh, like, is it weird that like, I know, like, I feel like I know who would wear something like that. Yo, I low key like Axe though. Like, I think it smells good. I've never actually heard guys introduce themselves. How do y'all find out each other's names? We usually just wait until we hear somebody else say it. <laughs> is that true? Actually, I'm gonna pay attention to that from now on. I'm gonna see if it's true. If the world is my oyster, but I don't like oysters, could it then be my cheesecake? You don't like oysters? Disappointing, but yes, I don't like cheesecake, so. <laughs> when someone says, where's the last place you had it after you lost something? <laughs> Look at his face. It's so accurate, it's so true. Well, obviously, if I knew that, I would be able to find it, clearly. <laughs> and it never fails. Every time someone says that, every time you lose something. So I was driving Uber today and this lady put her son in my backseat and said he's going to his daddy's house. What the hell? She tipped me $60, so I'm taking him. <laughs> oh, shit. that's so sketchy, dude. Oh no, I mean. Yeah, it's a bit sketchy. I feel like she should have gone along for the ride. You know, like, I, I think that's a reasonable request. No, don't you think? What happened when 50 Cent got hungry? 58. <laughs> no! No! <laughs> she cries. Birds always look like they just realized they spent $3,106 on takeout last year. <laughs> Especially owls. <laughs> They're always got this like, that's me when I wake up in the morning after a night out and I'm like, where did my money go? There should be a hotline you can call where you can safely pronounce words you've only ever read out loud for the first time and they say, oh sweetie, and kindly explain how it's pronounced. Agreed, I would need this service. There's also like Google, that works too. <laughs> But it's nice when someone talks to you like you're not stupid, you know? <laughs> not like, Charlotte, it's not pronounced like that. It's pronounced like this. Meh. All right, guys, those were the funniest posts of the week. I hope you laughed. Cool. Don't forget to wipe your butt. I know you forget sometimes. It's gross. Subscribe. <laughs>